वेलकम बैक माय नेम इज प्रियंद्र कुमार एंड दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो इन डेटा एंट्री फॉर्म ट्यूटोरियल इन बीबीए सो इन द फर्स्ट टू वीडियोस वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू डिजाइन दिस यूजर फॉर्म एंड वी हैव पुट द मल्टीपल कंडीशंस एंड द कोड टू एंटर अ न्यू रिकॉर्ड हियर एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस यूजर फॉर्म to update an existing record like uh, we can select the employee id which is already available there and then we can change the name designation gender or the salary amount let's say like that for check if i will update this it has been updated now we can see the result here for check this is so uh, we will learn this in this video here is on um, seat 1 okay so let's start so first of all i am going to add a new button here to adding a new button i have to unprotect this worksheet alt t p p and then i will put code 1 2 3 go to the developer tab and in developer tab i'll go to the insert i will insert a active x command button this one now resize this and i'll put it here I'll click on properties here. Uh, I'll change the caption of this button. I'll take uh, caption as update existing record. Okay. Uh, now I'll go to the Visual Basic. So we have to uh, create this user form basically. So I'll add a new user form from here. and i'll right click and go to the properties of this first of all i'll change the name of this i'll give them update underscore fr now i'll change the caption of this i'll put caption update update existing report i'll change the back color also i'll take any light color this now i'll put these options which we have put already so friends i will tell you a shortcut to do the same activity so what i will do we don't need to add a user form actually this update form so let me delete this so we can remove uh, form form from here yes sorry remove and click on no because we don't want to export this okay now i'll create the same form only we have to change this uh, tax box to combo box right so what i will do i'll add a new workbook here new workbook then i'll go to the visual basic you can see uh, book 2 is available here now what i will do i'll pick this add form and i'll move it to the book 2 Now you can see uh, this form is available in book 2. Now double click on this and right click go to the properties. So I'll change it as update form. Okay? And here uh, in caption I'll change update existing record. now we will delete this tax box one and i will copy this uh, combo box and paste i'll put it here okay now i will pick again this form and move to the again uh, data entry form workbook now we will close this support sheet book 2 so now you can see we have make a duplicate form of this and we have change only uh, this tax box to combo box this is the combo box 2 now combo box 2 click on this you can see this is the code for adding combo box 1 now we will put a code to adding uh, combo box 2 the employee id drop down so i'll take them 
as worksheet and here i will set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and here i will take seat one okay now i'll add this so what i will do i'll take them i as integer for i equal to the first line item is row number three three two and then i'll use ss dot range a and sorry and application dot rows dot count and excel up dot row till the end next i so before uh, adding any item what i will do i'll use me dot combo box 2 dot clear then me dot combo box 2 add item i'll add a item as blank then we can copy this code and paste it here and here i will use sh dot range a and i dot value now you can see uh, the value of the a a means the employee id employee id let me run this so you can see employee id is available in drop down now and one blank item which i have taken uh, here this one okay is available now we will put a code when uh, i will select any employee id so that particular data should be available like if i will select any employee id the name of that particular employee id gender and other information should be available here to get this i will double click on this so now you can see uh, we are in combo box 2 change event now here i will put code before putting the code i'll put a condition if me dot combo box 2 dot value is not equal to blank then only this code will run and if okay now here uh, first of all we will declare a worksheet so we can copy this code which we have currently taken you can put it here okay Now I'll take n is equal to okay so I will use match function here application dot match then I'll give the value before giving it the value because value is in the combo box so it will be in text form so I will use VBA dot C long it will convert that value in to long first so the value will be me dot combo box 2 dot value then I will take uh, range which is ss dot range a to a because uh, on a column our employee ID is available then 0 this is the syntax of match function which is available in Microsoft Excel okay so I will get the value of i now now i can use uh, me dot text box 2 dot value equal to ss dot range which will be the name of employee text box 2 is the name of employee you can see here this is the text box 2 so i'll use v and i dot value and now we can use if sh dot range c and i dot value equal to mail you can see here then me dot option button one dot value equal to true So 
so here i'll take female then option button 2 will be true now uh, we can use digination for combo box 1 we can use this one this code here we can take d and here we can take combo box 1 now the last one which is tax box 3 the sale the amount so we can use again this one this is the tax box 3 and e tax box 3 is the this sale box now let me run this now you can see if i will select anything like i have selected this one the name is abcd mail and if i will select this then xyz female and the same entry which is available here you can see the uh, result here okay so now we will uh, put the code on this clear button so friends in the second part of this video we have uh, put all the code already uh, in this form so we have make the duplicate uh, copy of this this form so all the code which is available in this form or uh, that is available now in this form so on this clear button so only this text box one we have changed it now uh, to combo box one combo box one rest will remain same you can see if i will select anything click on clear so all the thing is clear now sorry uh, this is the combo box two not combo box one let me change this this is combo box 2 now check again clear so it's working now we will put on this submit button so again on submit button we have already put the code here we will make necessary changes only so you can see we have removed the text box 1 we can delete this code rest will remain same here in check duplicate id we don't need to check any duplicate id we can delete this again here uh, the value of this n we can use again match function this function so i will copy this and will change this n value and paste it here again we will protect this same but this time we will put value on n not n plus 1 so we'll change this rest will remain same we can select this data and we can use n plus 1 to n for the selected data we can replace so let me give a space here so you can see four replacement so now it is n is available here we will protect this again we will remove this or in place of this we will use combo box 2 in place of text box 1 the rest will remain same let me save this and let me run this now if i will select let's say uh, this one which is xyg okay and i want to change the role uh, designation basically i want to take uh, designation team leader and the sale amount i want to take only 500 you can see here for xyg and submit so let me check okay so we have to change this also stop and run it again now again i'm taking this one and i'm taking team leader and 500 then update so you can see the record number two xyg is team leader now so again we can change it let's say i'm taking it again now it is team leader i want to take it as manager and say 5000 submit and you can see update here so that's how we can update this friends okay now i'll tell you how we can uh, delete a record because this is a uh, protected you cannot delete it manually okay so i'll tell you now i will insert another button here so let me unprotect this first one two three four is password i will insert uh, com this command button or i can select this design mode and copy this button and paste it here and i can rename the text of this I'll take as delete the code now double click on this 
I'll take a worksheet uh, dim sh as worksheet set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and we will take uh, seat name this one and here I'll put a condition if active cell dot row is greater than so if I have selected first row or second row then it should not delete because this is the header and this is the button row so is greater than 2 then only it will delete okay and, if. and here I'll put a question like uh, let me take dim pk as integer okay let's see then pk is equal to message box here I'll put do you want to delete this record question mark then before closing the bracket I'll put bb question plus bb yes no here if pk is equal to 7 that means uh, we have click on no button then it will return 7 then exit sub so i have not put the if if okay otherwise what it will do first of all it will unprotect ss dot unprotect because we cannot delete when workbook is in production mode then it will active cell dot entire row dot delete then again it will put up this so we can remove one so let's check let's say i want to delete this then delete uh, sorry delete you can see do you want to delete this record no then nothing will happen if i will click on delete this record yes then you can see that record has been deleted now let me unprotect this and we will put the code on this to show the update form update form dot show now you can see if we click this form will be displayed click this form will be displayed and click no if i will uh, put uh, i will select this cell then nothing will happen nothing will happen if i will click here then it will ask me to do you want to do this record or not so friends uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video i will upload this excel file to my google drive you can download it from there i'll provide the link in video description box you can use it in your process uh, because uh, we have put multiple validation so that data uh, cannot be incorrect and nobody can delete manually from here Thank you so much for the watching.